How do you sink a floating fortress the size of a city? The truth is, almost no one can. U.S. aircraft carriers, especially the Nimitz and Ford classes, are among the most heavily defended structures on Earth. Weighing over 100,000 tons and housing more than 5,000 personnel, they're built with compartmentalized hulls, meaning even serious damage is often contained to one section. But structural strength is just the beginning. Each carrier is escorted by a strike group, destroyers, cruisers, and submarines, all equipped with advanced radar, Aegis missile systems, and anti-aircraft defenses. It's not just one ship you're fighting, it's an entire mobile fortress. And then there's air superiority. With up to 90 aircraft aboard, carriers don't just defend, they strike back fast and hard. Any missile or aircraft that gets close is likely to be intercepted before it poses a threat. The U.S. Navy also runs regular sinking exercises. In one test, it took over a dozen direct hits, torpedoes, missiles, and bombs to finally send a decommissioned carrier to the bottom. Real combat? It's even harder. So why are U.S. carriers so hard to sink? Because they're designed never to be alone, never to be caught off guard, and never to go down without overwhelming retaliation. Want more stories of military power and strategy? Subscribe and share to dive deeper into modern warfare.